So hey, what's up guys, right Box here and welcome to a brand new episode of the MotoGP20 career mode and here we go, very exciting stuff, we signed for a brand new team and we get to customise their livery, so I have no idea what I want to do, um, but I do want to try out the two liveries and they're a bit, well they're alright, but there's nothing special about them, I kind of like that one to be honest. I think my logo stands out better on this one, so yeah, we'll go, we'll go for this. Although we, obviously we can change the colours and stuff, so I'm gonna quickly whip together a design. Uh, I might speed it up, I might not show it at all. Both of these are pretty much the same. Ah oh, man, oh well, okay. So by the end of this, we will have a bike. So, as you can see, I've tried to design our own uh, team. I think it looks okay. Could be better, could be worse. Um, but we'll see. I've tried to keep it the GoPro colours, obviously. Um, and this helmet, I need to... Uh, I need to... I, need, I, pro, I, pro, I think I need to change, really. It's just one I found on the, uh, the online market. So I'll quickly do that uh, before we get into any more races. So I've uh, found a helmet on the uh, the online market sort of place where people share it. So thank you to everyone who does create helmets and share them because I'm atrocious. Uh, as you can probably tell by the bike and stuff that I've pulled together, it's not ideal. Maybe I won't make my own team in the future, but I thought I'd try out for Moto 2, give it a go anyway. Um, and we can see what areas of development we've got. So it's everything but the aero department. So I can now go ahead and choose new members of staff. We've obviously lost all of those um, offers we had before. So, I mean, that's okay. Engine is another area we need to carry on developing anyway. So, we could do with keeping that. No contract proposals. Team managers, we've got a new team manager. Um, it would be good to get better salary, I guess, but we'll see. Uh, that's probably that's good for now. I need to probably set everyone up on development. Of course, we've got uh, staff members for the team. So let's get some people onto that. And we've got electronics, of course, sign, assign staff to electronics. So uh, let's get a few of our staff on the electronics areas as well. Everyone's 25. Oh no, Isaac, James, and this other guy. So we'll get them. So we've got weekly production, 100 for electronics. 300 each for engine. <laughs> Excuse me, I just had to sneeze there. I hope I edited it out. But anyway, yeah, like I say, 300 for engine and frame. And then we've got uh, a couple, a uh, hundred points on the research for electronics. So all I can do really is skip on in a little bit. We're gaining the, uh, the R&D points. Now can I get some people set up on development so first bit is installed now we need 1500 so oh these upgrades are quite expensive for moto 2 <laughs> so i'm gonna get some people on that right now i can get in and develop our engine that's probably the first thing to go ahead and do i need to figure out who's on it so it's andrew williams justin thomas logan kelly and diaz so williams thomas kelly and diaz let's see if we can remember those get them assigned we'll develop that node add staff kelly diaz thomas and i think it was williams wasn't it so those four guys on it yeah, there's those four. Sweet. So we can develop that. Five weeks time, that will be developed. And then we should be able to get some stuff on the frame as well, really. So this is going to be good. Better reactivity. Which is what we need. So who's on frame? It's Wood, Delgado, Ward and Harrison. Uh, we'll get them developing this. So it was da 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 da. Wood, Delgado, Ward and Harrison's in four weeks time we will now have a new frame electronics I'm not gonna do just yet but we've got lots going on here in the personal manager department uh, proposal low hi hi okay let me just clear these off sweet new candidates available here uh, da, 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 extra on there no I'm gonna leave it for now 
Uh, technical staff though. Could do get an extra technical staff. What's this guy's area? No, he's good on engine, so I'll carry on for now. Right, let's advance a few more weeks. Setting up the season is always a longer sort of process, so we always get we'll always get that at the start of the season. One more week, the frame will be done. So we should have it. Yeah, we've got a new frame just in time for Qatar, which is good. More stuff available here. It's all on the electronics, which I don't know. I want to focus on other things for now, so probably shouldn't just straight up just ignore all these people. But this guy seems good. We'll accept him B plus. Adds on to everything we've got really. Signed him. Spent some credits. Right, let's head down to Qatar then. Um I'm going to leave out practice again, and we'll probably just do the same what we did last season again. I want to get into the Moto GP, that is always the aim with these. So let's head down to qualifying and see what we can do in the Moto 2 class then. So then here's the helmet, very bright and colourful. We haven't got much other colour on the bike, right? it's all blue, everything else, but the helmet just sort of pops. Might look silly, might not. Anyway, the bike's looking okay, They're not too bad. Um, Probably need to get a proper number on the go, don't I? Oh, ho, ho. there's no traction control in Moto2 either. So you have to watch out for that rear. We had that beauty, although we didn't use it, but there's a lot more power in this bike compared to, uh, obviously, the bikes we had last season. But anyway, let's see what this opening lap's like. Lowe's is the current pace setter with 2 minute point seven, And it is Q1, of course, so... Oh, this rear is going to be interesting this season. Oh, God. <laughs> Something I'm going to have to get used to. We'll get better, don't worry. So let's see what this opening lap is like then. Coming through the first sector split. Six tenths underneath a lows. What? Right, then we're going to be coming across the line. And it looks like we're going to go faster than lows. But it's early in Q1, it's only seven minutes in, but ooh, one and a half seconds quicker, you know. I don't know how quick our bike's meant to be, really. <laughs> Brand new team. Can we make a shock entrance into Moto2? I'm going to end the session here. But of course, the AI are quicker in the race. That's one thing we've got to remember about this AI. But let's head into Q2 where hopefully we can have another good result. I'm going to put on some more soft tyres. I think this season we're going to find the rear tyre wears a lot more than we found last season. That's not only because the engine's more powerful, but it's also we don't have the traction control we can use to help control it. So it's going to be more down to us. But, you know, I'm excited for this season, Moto2, trying to look forward to it. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully we can get another, well, a few, fair few wins, some more pole position under our belt. Um, but could we push for a championship with our brand new team, this GoPro team? So let's see what we can do then. Come out of the final corner then. It's been touch and go. What can we do? We were about half a second up in the third sector. Those have really gained it in the third sector. 59.3 is the time to beat by Thomas Luti. 58, 5, 8 tenths of a second clear. So, could it be pole position? I think it might be. We're fairly clear. Yeah, look at that. Still ahead of Thomas Luti. So, good qualifying performance out of Qatar. And here we go. The Moto2. What a lovely setting this is for a race. Uh, sort of, it's approaching night time now. It's sort of a, a like dusk sort of time. So, let's see them. Tires, tires, tires. I'm going to go medium front. I'm actually going to go for a hard rear. I don't trust myself. Um, consumption check. I'm going to put an extra lap of fuel in because I don't want to run out of fuel. Uh, remember what happened at the last race? We won't talk about that. But anyway, let's head down to track then. Start the race. Our brand new team's off for pole position. And wow, look at our tyre choice compared to everyone else. <laughs> look at it. They're crazy. Everyone else medium soft. So this might not pay off. But for me... I mean, I need to remember that these are different time time of day as well, so maybe it was a mistake, but let's see. The bike's looking alright, actually. Maybe I need to change the suit colour, that dark blue, change it to that same blue as the bike. But anyway, off with a bit of a wheelie. 
but we're going to lead into turn number one by looks of things. Run a bit deep. Oh, lots of bikes come through there, and we drop down to P5. There's a whole different sound in Moto2 to get used to. Oh, contact there with Fernandez, and down he goes. Didn't get a penalty for that. Remy Gardner's down, lots of crashes here as well as we get past Schrotter. Oh, that rear. That rear's pretty nasty. So, P4 in our opening race with our brand new team. That's pretty good. That's pretty darn good. We're going to up the difficulty a bit more as well after this race. Oh, one of the Mark VDS bikes is through. It's Lowe's. He had a poor qualifying position, but he's made up some good positions at the start of this race. Come from P10, I think it was, he qualified, into P4. So that is a really good result for him. And we need to try and find a way past him if we can. Um, I mean, might be able to summon up the inside. Nah, no, I'm going to think better of that. Just stick him behind him. Oh, I can't get over how good this game looks. Looks so good, this game. Looks really good. Three tenths of a second off of lows. Don't know what sort of performances we're going to be able to put in this season. But we're off to a better start than we had in the Moto3 here at Qatar. Obviously we're finishing like 24th place in Moto3 here. But we finished third in the Moto3, so we've got a lot, of pro lot to prove here in Moto2. Here comes Nagashima coming under attack from the number 45. He's going to set one up the inside if we're not careful. Ladies, we count on the brakes into turn one. That is way too late. Definitely lost out a few positions, dropping into P9. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Let's see if we can catch back up to Sam Lowe's, though. Get back into P4 if we can, that would be good. Lost a few positions because we ran deep at turn number one, which isn't what we want. Got a bit of extra fuel to burn off as well, so I can use that as we start to build the pace. Build the heat in the rear tyre as well and manage the front. But I need to get past this guy. Dig Gian... Oh my god, don't even want to butcher the name. Dig Gian... Dig Gian... Did Gian Antonio? There we go, Did Gian Antonio. I'm not. not oh, I hope I don't see him lots in this season because there we go. I can butcher some more names. Coming through turn 12, okay. So we had good qualifying pace, but the bike seems to be lacking some race pace. So we need to try and work on that for the season. It's not all going to be about the engine like it was in Moto 3. Sam Lowe's has just dropped two positions as he loses out to Nagashima. Nagash... Oh, what's his name? Nagashima? No, that's a place, isn't it? Um, here we go at the inside for P7 at the final corner. Lovely stuff. Ah, that rear. Lovely stuff in the end. Yeah, I think I'm going to change the colour of the suit, the rider's suit. Might make it yellow. And then we'll go for that blue and yellow combo. But here comes this guy again coming back and we lose out for P7. What can we do on the brakes? Into turn number one break a lot earlier. Still not enough to get the move done for P7. Lowe's is falling into our grasp, though. Schrotter's behind us. The rear slipping out a little bit, but we're controlling it well. It's a little bit on the cold side, but it's nothing really to worry about. If we could, I think those two up the road just ahead of Lowe's are long gone but if we can get some Lowe's, if we get P6 that would be fantastic we have to remember we're in a brand new team as well so they're trying to establish themselves I can see the shadow of someone behind me oh god please don't please don't dive on me Schrotter Schrotter's quick so and he's going quickly now as well. And if I could get P7 back, Sam Lowe seems to be struggling. We all seem to be catching up to him. Look at that rear. Put some, put some, put some heat through it, love. 
All right, okay, so they're, they're, he's really starting to catch up, so I need to catch up to these two, so I'm going to go power mode two, because I need to get a bit of a move on. Power mode two, and hopefully the rest of this lap, the next lap, and the final lap, we should be able to run all in power mode two and try and really push the bike to the max, so we're going to really test what I can do. So let's bomb it into the final corner. Pick up a nice apex there on the power nicely as well. Front tyre starting to get a bit hot as we really just start to push it towards the end of that lap. 58.5 from Luti. 59.7 from us. Oh, I couldn't find a way through. Into turn one a bit wide again. Schrott is still behind us. Look, he's all over the back of us. Good run through turn two, though. We still can't catch up to these two. And Lowe's is holding on to P6 for now. Oh, a bit deep into seven. Schrott is going to punish us. Oh, no, he doesn't quite. Who's down? Nagashima up the road. Look, he's gone down, Nagashima. Gifts us some points. Thank you very much. So if we could get low somehow, we'd get top five. But I don't know if we've got the pace to do it. Oh! Up the inside. That's aggressive there. We can't put the power down. Up into P6. All Schrotter's all over the back of him now. Oh, oh, there's contact with the two behind. Look how crazy this is here in Moto2. Can we get Lowe's on the last lap? Well, this lap or the, ne or the next lap, which is the last lap. I can't get me words out this episode. I'm having to focus so much on this new bike and learn it and, you know, all that good stuff. Lows, lows, lows. Where are we going to be able to get him? But Schrotter's through now, so that guy we've overtaken has lost out two positions. <laughs> uh, no penalty from the stewards, though. Oh, let's pick up a bit of slipstream off for Lowe's. See if he pulls away from us down the straight, which he is, even with a bit of a toe. Here comes Schrotter, 57.8 from Bezeki, and we're one and a half seconds off of that sort of time. Right, I'm going to have to run Palmer 1 for the rest of the lap. And the rest of the race, really. But we're just three tenths off of Sam Lowe's. We could do something here. And pick up a fifth place position. In our opening race for our brand new team. GoPro would be pleased with us. Oh, the rear snaps. That's going to put us under pressure from Schrotter. There he is on the outside. Cut him off a bit there. Try block him from getting a path into an overtake. All over the back of Lowe's. Close back in. Oh, I can't put that power down. That's horrible. Why does the rear do this? Chuck it into turn 12. A little bit wide. On exit, but it's okay. Lines us up nicely for the next bit of the corner. I get a good run out of 15. That's okay. We might be able to line someone up the inside for the final corner. Side by side with Sam Lowe's. Run it deep. Pit the bike up. Oh, side by side with the Brit. No, he's going to get us. <laughs> Brit versus Brit. Side by side. Photo finish. What is he doing? <laughs> oh, I think he got a bit out of shape there. I think he was worried he was going to touch the grass. And in the end, the gave us the result. That's P5. Brilliant the... stuff. Brilliant stuff. I'll take that. Lovely, 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 lovely. But uh, I want to take a look at a replay because it... Ooh. <laughs> Because the, the, the graphics just look lovely on this. And when it gets sort of close up as well. A bike. Oh, contact. Yeah, we go. But look at the contact. Oh, my God. There was a huge crash at the back there. But the bike looks okay. I think I need to change the color of the suit. Maybe to match the bike. Taking off a visor there. And getting all out of shape there. 
but the graphics are just insane here at Qatar in the Moto2. Anyway, good race result. P5 in the championship. Good stuff. Lovely stuff. I'll take that. And uh, where are we? GoPro, GoPro Team Moto2, P6. P6. That's not too bad. Sweet. So, we now have upgraded engine, we've got a few weeks till Austin, so we should probably get on some electronics. I'm going to do, uh, anti-wheelie coming out of the bend, opening the gas command, right. So, I might do this reduction of rear tyre consumption, that would be good for us, so... 500 points we've got a thousand so we've got plenty so let's get the two guys that do the research on it and they are isaac james and jackson christopher jackson so james and jackson can start developing this jackson and james cool so we're gonna get uh an engine brake upgrade um mm -mm -mm -mm. Right, in terms of engine, we got 350, yes, and 850, we can't really do anything, uh, probably do one of these next, but anyway, I'm going to get them all back on research, so let's get the engine guys on research, then back on frame research will be, when I can figure out who does what. Yeah, so after Diaz, get word on it. Delgado, Ward, and Harrison. Right, so we're going to be gaining 300 a week for frame and engine. So we're nicely upgrading our bike. Nicely, nicely, nicely. We're paying out salaries as well, so we're losing credits. Advance to the next week, which will be round number two, Cota. So before we get into this, I'm going to fix up my suit, and then we'll get down to qualifying. Right then, so I've decided to start from the back. I want to sort of get a feel for our pace early on, and then we can really build on it. It's a wet race as well, so, I mean, we can't really do much. It was a wet qualifying too, so... Um, I'm going to put an extra lap of fuel in the bike as well, but I just want to see what we can do from the back, more for my interest than anything else. So, I do apologise if you guys were wanting me to carry on qualifying. I will do qualifying, obviously, in the next episode, but... Uh, what I want to do, like I say, I just want to get a feel for our pace. So, start from the back of the grid. We can sight everything out. It's not raining, so the track's going to get quicker. So, it's a good sort of development race for us as well. So, what I've done is I've changed the suit colour to match the main colour of the bike, which I think looks a bit better. But uh, I am struggling with the design of the bike. And I'm kind of regretting making our own team, if I'm completely honest. Just because I struggle with that sort of design of the side, this side of the game. But I think, yeah, it looks better anyway. I've put on a number as well. You guys have been asking me to go for a number. So I've elected for number 94. Partly because it's a pretty cool number I found um, while searching the online stuff. So uh, this season, yeah, we'll be running 94. And I'll probably run 94 for, you know, the rest of the seasons. But uh, here we go then. Still in last place out of turn number one. So we've got a bit of work to do. Five laps around here at Kota. It's going to be a try in track, so Bezeki's all the way back here. Must have had a poor qualifying as well. Not very smooth through the S's. Oh, that rear is horrible. Heading up the inside. Ooh. Into P26. Everyone's going to go up our inside if we're not careful. Just struggling with that rear tie, you know. It's getting a bit hot. And everyone's going about five wide as they sort of start to come onto the back straight. Look at the Mark VDS guys, and we're being pushed. Ah! It's like five wide and trying to come onto the uh, straight there. Whack the power mode up. Blast down this straight. We've got an engine upgrade as well, which is going to help us out. And there's Jorge Martin. Fernandez as well on the Mark VDS bike. I don't know where to brake, really. So I'm sort of just like tapping the brake. Oh, I should have started braking earlier than that. Run deep in the end, but side by side with Martin and oh, got P15 guys checking up. 
everyone's sort of trying to find their feet Ooh, trying to find their feet in this uh, these wet conditions they're very tricky They've got one of the sky racing team riders up our inside is that Bezeki? looks like it is let's get him back no it's not I don't think it was anyway but we're in P14 now so not too bad of a start coming from the back of the grid and uh, getting a bit across the corner there Dallaporta this bike is looking very much like a um, Suzuki let's see if we can get him anywhere out the final corner there's Sam Lowe's in P11 obviously we had a bit of a race with him last episode but this rear tyre is struggling hopefully the bike's looking cool now with a number I think our logo is time for it to go it was a novelty for the first season but uh, Head into Moto 2 now, our career is starting to become very serious. Our ride is getting good. Right, we're going to find this track's going to start to dry out, which means the rear tyre is going to get hotter and hotter as the race goes on. But we're through on Dalla Porta, who's going very wide through the S's. Going to take P11 past Sirene as well, if we can hold it on the outside. Power down. Oh, he's got the inside line for the next part of the corner, but he runs himself wide. Look at our rear. It's horrendous. <laughs> Moto 2's tricky old class to put the power down in. Right, we're going to start breaking to the top 10 if, we're, if we get lucky here. Breaking around the outside of Lowe's. He's coming back up the inside, though. Put the uh, power mode into power mode 2. Help us down the straight. And try pick off nine place, ninth place, I should say, not nine place. Gonna get the job done. Look at that lovely stuff on the brakes. I think it's Remy Gardner next for P8. Oh, look at them both coming back at us. We got them down the straight, and they're both coming back at us. Sam Lowe's is one of them. Gardner, them. Where can we get Gardner? Oh, Lowe's almost clipped our rear there. The rear tyre's running very hot around here. Track's starting to dry and it's only going to get worse, like I say. Oh, if we had traction control, that would help us out brilliantly. I'm doing my best to try and control it. It's going to improve over the season, of course. So, P8 now. Bit deep into the final corner. Again, it's running very hot. We're running through that rear tyre. We're churning through it. I wonder what we can do to try and better manage it. Because it's only going to get worse. Can it and Nagashima next? Where can we get them? Maybe through the S's. The AI seems to take quite wide lines. So if I can straighten off my line a bit. Yes, underneath of both of them. Look at that. Lovely, lovely stuff. Oh. Four tenths now to Navarro. P5. Good run through here. Oh. That rear over the hill. Now on the brakes, trying to get ourselves lined up for a good run. Bit of a cutback line, and we're underneath of him. Lifted Navarro up, he wanted to turn and straighten off the corner, but we just kept flying underneath of him. So, into P5, Baldessari next, up the road, 2.9 seconds off. For us now, I don't think I should push. I need to try and maintain this gap to the, the guys behind and try and extend it if I can. Because the uh, the rear tyre isn't going to um, be forgiven. Oh, see what I mean? We're going to get a high side if we're not careful. And actually, I've been a bit more cautious on this lap. And the rear tyre is starting to cool it a bit. So that's good. We've only got two laps to go. Three seconds. We lose a tenth of a second to Baldessari. But we pulled out 1.1 to the guy behind. So let's just carry on putting in the, oh, in the laps. If I can. 
and try and bring the bike home without taking huge chunks of wear out of the rear tyre but uh, I can feel the track really starting to dry up 213.1 213.2 so we've got front runner pace we have front runner pace this is good so we do a 2.12.5 improve on our previous lap time and we've been closing up to the guys ahead but I think it's sort of too late in the race now to be able to do anything we're about two laps, uh, two laps, two seconds off of Bastianini. It's not Baldessari ahead, sorry, it's Bastianini. But let's see. We might be able to catch him up by the end of the lap, but uh, at the minute I'm just trying to nurse this rear tyre home. We've really took a batter into the rear tyre today. We've got no pressure behind, so let's just carry on. Come around the final corner, then we did close right up to Bastianini, but I don't think we could have pushed any harder because I was pretty much pushing and uh, we weren't able to catch up. But I'm happy with that P5 again. Not bad considering it came from back of the grid as well. 2.11.8, we weren't fastest overall. We were adapting quickly to the uh, change of conditions, so that's good. So P5, really happy with that. Still fifth in the championship, which is good as well. And our team moving up to fifth place as well, so the GoPro sponsors will be pleased. So... That's been it for today's episode, our first episode of Motor 2. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Apologies for the switch around and all the uh, customization and stuff like that, but I think I'm a lot happier with it. Let me know. Suggestions down below in the comments would be much appreciated. But that's been it. That's been episode number 11. I can't believe we're at episode number 11 already. We're firing through this career mode. I just want to... My aim is to get to Moto GP as, uh, as quickly as possible, which means Moto 3... First season, Moto 2, second season, and Moto GP third season. So let's see if we can hit that aim. Um, but that's been it, really. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Smash like button if you did enjoy. Share it with your own friends as well. And don't forget to subscribe if you are new. So for now, I will see you guys in the next one.